focus on our weather, which is chilly, breezy, but at least we're not that cold. 26 mile an hour wind gusts the past hour in the triangle, 28 miles an hour in Roxborough picking up and we do have a wind advisory in effect from the triangle northward through the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. Those winds are going to start to relax as the sun goes down. Even by four o'clock, those winds should be dying down just a little bit, but between now and then, yeah, it's going to be breezy. Keep both hands on the wheel. We've seen those winds pushing some high clouds overhead off and on throughout the day. Every once in a while, we get just beautiful blue skies overhead and then a little more hot cloud cover in the distance gets closer to us. 39 degrees the temperature at the stadium. That's going to be pretty close to our temperature once we get the one o'clock update in the triangle. There's that wind just making the flag in South Hill stand out straight. 39 the temperature, but the wind chill is lower than that. 41 degrees in Goldsboro. You're one of our warmer spots, but just a little more cloud cover filtering out the sunshine. Other air temperatures, upper 30s, low 40s. Anywhere from 36 degrees in Roxboro for the cold spot to 42 degrees in Rayford and Clinton for the warm locations. 37 Raleigh, 39 degrees in Durham. Here's Here's what it really feels like though. 26 degrees in Raleigh. Uh, feels like 37 degrees in Goldsboro. Not too much lower than your air temperature. 32 for the feels like temperature in Fayetteville. This isn't dangerously cold. It's just unpleasant. And even once our wind chills drop off even more late tonight, it's not going to become flat out dangerous around here unless you're careless and you go outside not prepared for the chilly temperatures. Low 40s for highs this afternoon. We drop off quickly. Our air temperatures will be down to the mid 20s already by midnight. Futurecast wind chills. They drop off as we head into early tomorrow morning. The winds are going to relax overnight. It is not going to be as breezy out there early tomorrow morning, but our air temperatures are going to be in the teens. So that wind chill that feels like reading doesn't take a whole lot of wind to drop that several degrees more, and that puts us down potentially into the single digits early tomorrow morning. Just make sure the kids are well bundled as you're heading out the door with them tomorrow morning and make sure yourself is well bundled as well. Our temperatures will warm up only to the mid 30s for highs tomorrow, and that feels like temperature is going to be stuck in the upper 20s. 20s by tomorrow afternoon. But tomorrow is kind of the valley of our latest cold snap. We start climbing after another cold start on Friday, and that climb is going to continue as we head into the weekend, especially into next week. We're talking about temperatures in the 60s, a more than 50 degree climb from tomorrow morning to Tuesday afternoon. And it looks like it's going to stick around through most of the week. And there's even a chance those above average temperatures stick around at least nearby as we head into the following week, taking us all the way up to almost Valentine's Day. So some positive signs if you like above Above average temperatures in February. This time of year, though, warmer weather usually comes along with a fair amount of cloud cover and at least a chance of showers. We have that in the forecast beginning on Sunday. We're not getting carried away with those rain chances. I'm going to leave them in that 20 to 30 percent kind of outside chance range, but it's still a chance. More clouds and sunshine beginning Sunday, continuing Monday and Tuesday. Those temperatures look awfully nice, especially compared to where we'll be tomorrow morning from 15 tomorrow to 67 on Tuesday.